Hey, good morning, friends. It's uh, Tuesday, the 18th of October. Hope you're doing well today. Beautiful couple days we've had here recently. Yeah. Fall weather, cool, crisp air. We talked about that last week. I uh, hope you had a chance to be with us on Sunday, uh, either here in person or maybe online. Uh, it's uh, such, a, such a refreshing thing to be able to come into God's presence with uh, with the community and be together and worship God together, sort of center, center our lives uh, on, on worship, on God's, uh, on the worship of God. It sort of sets this, this rhythm by which we can live out the rest of the week. And so we come to it over and over again. It's a good thing to do. Uh, today we're looking at Psalm 99. And as I sort of looked over Psalm 99 this morning, I, I, I was reminded of how often, um, how often the Psalms uh, call for us to remember uh, what God has done in the past. The, the Psalms call for us to remember uh, God's faithfulness in our lives and in the lives of our communities, those that we love. And so we see, uh, again, sort of this this recounting of God's provision to the people of Israel in the midst of this, um, of this praise psalm, the psalm of praise. And just another reminder that, you know, we're in sort of this uh, section of psalms that is uh, that is focused on praise, focused on lifting up the name of God and the glory of God, and so we see that here. So, um, let's 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 listen to Psalm ninety nine, uh, our psalm for today. The Lord reigns; let the nations tremble. The Lord sits enthroned between the cherubim; let the earth shake. Great is the Lord in Zion. He is exalted over all the nations. Let them praise your great and awesome name. He is holy. The king is mighty. He loves justice. You have established equity. In Jacob, you have done what is just and right. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at his footstool, for he is holy. Moses and Aaron were among his priests. Samuel was among those who called on his name. They called on the Lord, and he answered them. He spoke to them from the pillar of cloud. They kept his statutes and the decrees he gave him gave them. Lord our God, you answered them. You were to Israel a forgiving God, though you punished their misdeeds. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at his holy mountain, for the Lord our God is holy. The Lord our God is holy. You see this, um, again, this recollection, this recounting to God uh, what God had done in the past. It's kind of a funny thing. It's like we're reminding God of the things God has done, right? As if God needs reminding. Obviously, that's not true uh, in a literal sense. But uh, by, by going through this exercise of reminding God who God's been, we, we, we tell ourselves, too. We remind ourselves of that reality. And we draw ourselves deeply into the provision of God and the goodness of God, thanksgiving, and uh, with thanksgiving and with gratefulness. So a beautiful psalm for us today. I want to invite you to join in today's um, prayers of intercession and thanksgiving. Uh, again, we're reading the, or we're praying through the uh, daily office prayers and joining with people all over the all over the world and throughout history as we pray these prayers together. So I invite you to join me. Let's pray to God. Loving God, we praise you for you are our creator. Your handiwork is shaping and sustaining your wondrous creation. We give you glory. Today, Lord, we thank you specifically for the miracle of life and the wonder of of living. God, we thank you for the particular blessings that you have given to us today. Lord, we thank you for the resources of the world, of the earth. And we thank you, Lord, for gifts of creative vision and skillful craft. We thank you, God, for the treasure stored in every human life. 
I invite you to lift up your own prayers of thanksgiving this morning. And God, we dare to pray for others, claiming your love in Jesus Christ for the whole world. And we commit ourselves to care for those around us in his name. Especially today, we pray for those who work for the benefit of others. We pray for those who are unable to work today. We pray for those who teach and for those who learn. And we pray for the poor. Lord, we pray for your church in Europe. I invite you to lift up your own prayers of petition this morning. As you cause the sun to rise, O God, bring the light of Christ to dawn in our souls and dispel all darkness. Give us grace to reflect Christ's glory and let his love show in our deeds. Let his peace shine in our words and let his healing be in our touch that all may give him praise now and forever. Amen. Good to be with you, friends. Hope the week is starting off well for you. This is our dismissal today from Romans 15. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace through the power of the Holy Spirit. Uh, may that be so, friends. God bless you. Have a great day, and we will see you again tomorrow. Take care.